You probably never saw a comparison like this before, and it will help you solve one of the biggest issues you face about choosing the right strategies for how you take notes. Here's my ultimate note-taking comparisons between books versus lectures and more. Taking notes during a lecture or from a textbook, a PowerPoint slide deck, and a pre-recorded lecture each has its own set of pros and cons. Most importantly, I'm going to suggest effective solutions that I'm sure will help you. Hey there, smart people, your favorite Uncle Matt back with you, and in this episode, we're going to analyze the advantages and challenges of taking notes more effectively from multiple information sources. The sad thing about what you're going to learn is how rarely this kind of stuff is taught. You would think that every single teacher would make sure you knew these things because it helps you to be smarter faster. If you enjoy what I publish here, please like, share, post a comment, and also subscribe with notifications enabled so you won't miss any of my new stuff. Let's dig into the advantages, challenges, and suggested solutions for taking notes in each of these situations. Lectures, textbooks, PowerPoint slide decks, and pre-recorded video lectures. First up, taking notes during a lecture. Advantages. Real-time interaction. You can ask questions, seek clarification, and engage with the instructor. Dynamic content. Lecturers can provide additional context, examples, and explanations that may not be available in written materials. Active listening. You can focus on the spoken words and the delivery, aiding comprehension. Challenges. Fast pace. Lectures can be fast paced, making it challenging to keep up with note taking. Distractions. Classroom or online lecture environments may have distractions that can hinder your note taking. Incomplete notes. It's easy to miss information when taking notes in real time. Solutions. Take very few notes while the instructor is talking. Otherwise, you'll likely miss what is being said while you're writing. Create a, a sort of shorthand system for yourself. One thing I found to be very helpful to me is to abbreviate words by leaving out the vowels and just writing consonant sounds. For example, the word physics might be written F-Z-K-S, physics, or formula, F-R-M-L. You may want to come up with a list of standard abbreviations you use for specific classes where common terms are expected and repeated. Some students record their lectures. I think it doubles the amount of time you have to spend dealing with the subject. First, recording gives you a false sense of security, so you pay less attention. Then you have to go back and listen to the recordings, which most people hate to do and usually avoid it. I strongly recommend you compare notes with others in your class immediately afterwards. Doing that will help solidify the information in your head, point out holes in what you learned, and help fill in the blanks of stuff you missed. Let's talk about taking notes from a textbook. Advantages. Self-paced. You can read at your own speed and take your time to understand the material. Revisiting. Textbooks are readily available for review and referencing. Highlighting and annotating. You can mark important information directly in the book. Challenges. Passive. It's a passive form of learning, and you may not engage as actively as in a lecture. Limited context. Textbooks lack the real-time interaction and additional explanations provided by a live instructor. Solutions. As I've discussed in multiple videos, such as handwritten notes are better than apps and the production effect, Learning happens when information comes out of you rather than when it's being put in. Use as many senses as possible when dealing with your textbooks. Read aloud to yourself. Take handwritten notes. Write a summary after you read each chapter. Talk to your study buddy or even to yourself about the main points in a chapter. What about taking notes from a PowerPoint slide deck? Advantages. Structured content. Slides often have a clear structure and key points. Visual aid. Visual elements can enhance understanding and memory retention. Availability. 
Slide decks may be shared for reference after the presentation. Challenges. Possible information overload. Slides can be dense, making it essential to select what to include in your notes. Lack of context. Slides might not always provide comprehensive information and you may miss the instructor's explanations. Solutions. Use a similar approach as you did when taking notes from your textbook. Be sure to employ multiple senses when attempting to capture the information. Another step is to make a list of specific questions about things you don't understand. When you go to your instructor, it's not helpful to simply say, I don't get it. It's far better to say something like, what I don't get is the relationship between A and B and how that impacts the result. You must seek to define exactly what it is that's puzzling you in order to get the help you need. Now let's cover taking notes from a pre-recorded lecture. Advantages. Pause and rewind. You have control over the pace and can replay the segments for clarity. Flexibility. You can choose when and where to watch the lecture. Consistency. You can maintain a consistent note-taking pace. Challenges. Lack of interaction. You can't ask questions or engage with the instructor in real time. Self-discipline. Self-motivation and time management are crucial when learning from pre-recorded lectures. Limited clarification. If the lecture lacks additional resources or explanations, you may need to seek clarification elsewhere. Solutions. Change the speed of the video wherever possible. Speed up through the long-winded explanations or off-topic remarks. Slow down to normal when the instructor is covering key points, definitions, or examples. Again, like I suggested previously, keep a list of very specific questions. You may misunderstand what the instructor said because it's too technical or because of a thick accent. It is only when you ask specific questions about what you don't understand that you can receive answers that will truly be helpful. So let's see where we're at. Taking notes during a lecture allows for real-time interaction and dynamic content, but can be fast-paced and challenging to keep up with. Note-taking from a textbook offers a self-paced approach, but lacks the interaction and context provided by an instructor. PowerPoint slide decks provide structured content and visual aids, but may require careful selection of what to note. Pre-recorded lectures offer flexibility and control over the pace, but lack live interaction and may require self-discipline. Pay attention to the various solutions I offered and apply them whenever possible. Also, report back to me with any tips or suggestions that you have that may be helpful to others. I love hearing from you as it motivates and encourages me to continue to produce and publish this kind of content. To help provide you more complete information, I've included the links to the other videos I mentioned in the description below. You'll see that I've also included links to other resources that I think you'll find to be very helpful. Here's what's next. I've selected a couple of other videos just for you. I hope you take a few minutes to check them out. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching.